welcome back to Linda's Prepper Kitchen. Well, I'm sitting outside my local, one of my local farms, um, and they have produce and things like that inside for sale. So let's go in, let's check it out. Let's see um, if there's a way to save money inside. So let's go on, let's get inside. Come on y'all, let's go into Thomas Farm Fresh Produce. Okay guys, if you're in my area of Chattanooga, um, the hours are here on the door. Um, as you see, they're open Sunday through Saturday, so y'all come on by and check it out. There's a great way to save on getting your fresh produce. Um, you know they're fresh and you know what's going in them. So let's go in and take a look around. If you're not yet into canning your, or preserving your, your food, this is a great place that you can um, get home canned preserves and um, chows and, and those type of things. So just give you a little you look at a few of these and these are five dollars a piece they also have a museum upstairs um, it's a great place to come by and check out if you're in my area farms are a wonderful place to get produce at a discount plants okra Three dollars. Zucchini, three fifty a cup. Squash is three fifty a cup. On fresh tomatoes. Look at there. All their produce are are homegrown, and it is organic. No sprays. Any pesticides. Watermelons, sweet cantaloupe, juicy peaches. Watermelons, ten dollars. Cantaloupes, three fifty. Peaches, five dollars. Blueberries, five. Look at those delicious peaches. Yummy. Ooh, look at those yummy homemade pies. They've got um, blueberry. They've got. Millennium, strawberry, green beans, strawberries, peppers. Looky there, y'all. What a find. You can pick you up a six pack of canning jars. These are the pint size for $6 for a six pack or $5 for the jelly jars. Some delicious apples. Sweet potatoes, russet potatoes, and yellow onions. Mm -mm. And while y'all are here, y'all can come on over here and check out the animals. Looky there, we got some pigs, some goats. Oh, hello, goats. Great place to bring the kids. They said that in the fall time, they bring them out. The kids come and pet them. Big old cow. Yeah, if nothing else, come on by to your, go to your local farm, y'all. You can get such good organic food. Um, let the kids play and visit with the animals. Got a few bulls over here and we got a little baby. Looky there. <clears throat> also, y'all, um, if y'all seen any of my garden videos, this is where I came and got um, some manure for my garden. Um, you can get, these farms uh, are a great tribute to the community. If you have local farms in your area, I urge you to go check them out. Go in, uh, check their produce out. It's probably the best produce you'll ever have unless you're raising it yourself. Um, so yeah, let's go inside and take a look at some jams and jellies. Ooh, looky here. This is peach cobbler. This is Kay's Delights. This is blueberry. We got some banana nut bread. Homemade, y'all. Guess what? You're not going to have to make it. It's already made for you. Okay, guys. I just want to show you the, the jams and jellies we got here. This is from a Mennonite community um, up in Tennessee where she gets these. So, you know these are home, home preserved. Um, all different flavors. Same with the chow chow over there and the um, vegetables I showed you on the table. Um, so, check it out. Check out your local farm as well. Check out the Farm Fresh eggs. 
you know the situation with eggs nowadays okay guys i'm outside again um the name of the farm in my area is called thomas farm fresh produce y'all come check them out if you're in this area you can buy manure here um you can buy uh ground uh dirt fuel dirt uh gravel um all kinds of things they have plants for sale um um vegetable plants um all kinds of things y'all y'all support your local farms because i'm gonna tell you the way things are looking with these trucks you definitely want to be in good with those people on those local farms and not only that you get a great bargain and you know what's going in your food um at this particular farm i know it's organic no pesticides nothing like that going in it is the beginning of the farm season i uh, can't wait to see what more produce and things are going to they're going to have for us as the season goes on but y'all get out there and support them and if you're in this area come on by and check out sabrina inside she's the lady that's running it um yeah so y'all keep on keeping on i'll see you next time back at linda's prepper kitchen bye everyone